Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon grade one. How are you all doing? Good. That's really great. Yes, I'm also good. Alhamdulillah. Thank you and welcome to your social studies class. So uh, in today's class, we will be devising another topic and we will prepare ourselves for the final assessment. So the topic that we are going to devise in today's class is natural resources, right? So the word natural and resources, if we look at this term itself, natural is something which we get from nature, which is linked to God, right? So this means that, and then there comes the resources. So resources mean all the resources that we get from Allah are natural resources, right? There are a lot of man-made resources. Let's say we have made all of these appliances for us, these laptops, these mobile phones, these different types of electronic appliances and, you know, all the ease that we have in our uh, homes and around us. So these are all man-made resources that we have created for ourselves. But above that, there are natural resources like water. Water is a natural resource. Can we prepare water for ourselves? No. We cannot make water, right? It's something which is natural. Can we make air for ourselves? No. We cannot. Then we have the coal. Then we have the gas. Right? All types of fruits. Vegetables. these are given to us by Allah. These are all natural, right? We cannot make it by our, on our own. That let's say, I, I don't like the vegetables which are already in there, so let's make some new vegetables. No, that's not possible. These are all natural resources. And when we talk about resources, we talk about the things which are on large quantity, large reservoirs, which we use in our daily life, or like the humans, which the whole uh, humans on the world they are using so they are all natural resources and they do they don't get end right so we are using them and we get more and more out of it let's say you you get water from the rivers and then and add more water into the river uh, in the form of rain in the form of snow or whatsoever so these are natural resources which he is creating then we have salt mines have humans put salt over there no it's natural we have coal mines, we have gold mines, right? Now we have the oil wells. So all of these are natural resources which are given to us by natural means. We get them from nature, right? So in today's class, we will discuss about the natural resources. I'm going to share the screen with you. Let's watch an interesting video related to that. And then we will discuss all the resources in detail, okay? Show me a thumbs up if my screen is visible. Okay, great. Hello, sir. Hi. So you're ready for the day? We are going to see the natural resources. Do you see this? Sunlight, the natural resource, and it gives me... Okay, so see the sunlight. Now the sun is a natural resource. It's a natural source of heat and light, right? So you get heat and light from the sun. Can we produce the similar amount of heat and light on our own? No, we cannot, right? So the amount that we will be producing, that would be very, very limited. But the sun is a natural resource, right? Okay. The natural resource, and it gives me... energy. Wow, the wind is blowing. There is air. Now you tell me what does it give? The second natural resource which they are discussing is air, right? The air which is around us. Now this does not mean that there should be always, you know, when there is wind, we can say that air is. Air is always around us in free spaces as well, in vacuum as well, right? We have air and that is why we are breathing and we are living here. So air is a natural resource. We cannot make air on our own. This does not happen that the previous air which was there in the earth, it has just vanished or it has 
finished so now humans are making their own air for themselves no this is not the case right it's something which is natural which is around us which is in our environment and that is why we breathe and we live right so this is another natural resource let's move forward helps me breathe the seaside lakes rivers they all are natural resources i love this place the next they are talking about is water water is another natural resource there can be different forms or different reservoirs of water to us it can be a river it can be a stream it can be a sea it can be an ocean right so all of these are natural yeah, a human cannot make a river on its own a human cannot make like we do make we do build dams or whatsoever but the water in it that is not made by us that is given to us by nature that is a natural resource we just use it according to our own way right or we build things for that but we do not create or made water right so these are also natural resources lakes rivers soothing effect yes and that gives us water salt and fish to eat hey come on why do you look so scared it's, don't be scared it's just a forest another natural resource that gives us wood okay so the next uh, natural resource is forest so in forest we have the trees from them we get the wood and then we can make like thousands of things out of it right we can make furniture lamps tables chairs drawers sofa set whatever type of furniture or whatever type of thing you want to make you can make out of the wood and wood is a natural resource and we get it from the trees and trees are we cannot made or produce tea trees on our own it's something which is natural the furniture in our house the rubber used for tires in our car let me show you this farm another natural resource in the form of animals look at the sheep that gives us wool now all these are also the animals are also their natural resources because they give us the milk milk is something which is natural uh, similarly the wool which is um, you know given to us by the sheep it's also another natural resource and then we make a lot of things out of it the leather of the animal it's another natural resource we cannot produce leather on our own right and then we made certain things out of it leather bags leather boots leather jacket bags etc right cow which gives us milk this chicken that gives us eggs and roast to eat now we are here this land another natural resource now the land okay <clears throat> on which we live it's another natural resource this is not made by us this is not created by us this is something which is natural which is there in the world all of us live on it we then on this land we have created so many things so many buildings schools colleges shops etc but the land itself is something which is natural right underneath this land is soil minerals and rocks are found under it the mountain on the land underneath is coal and iron the soil fertile land gives us fruit vegetables and food grain now similarly the fruits vegetables the soil in which they are grown all of these are another natural resources and we cannot produce soil on our own we cannot make fruits and vegetables on our own at our home these are all things which are natural yes we soak the their seeds yes we water them but they are produced naturally right so these are some of the natural resources that they have discussed in the video um, now i'm going to share the screen with you and we will discuss some other natural resources so uh, and well we have already discussed a lot of them 
So we will be discussing uh, more about it. So here I'm sharing the screen with you. There are some other uh, natural resources, the big reservoirs that we use in our daily life and that are all natural. So we look at this. The first is animal resources, all types of animal resources which are natural, right? Then comes the crude oil. Oil is something which is, uh, uh, you know, produced in uh, under underground and which is something which is natural. We cannot produce or made oil on our own. Then we have forest resources. We have already discussed it in the video. Uh, then we have precious metals, all types of metals, all types of minerals, all types of rocks which are there. Uh, these are all natural resources and then we make particular and different things out of that, right? So everything has its own benefits, everything has its own advantages, we can use a particular thing in many different ways. Then we have water resources. Uh, in the water resources comes all types of water like I have included, the dams, streams, lakes, rivers, every type of resource, right? The next come the land resources. Uh, we have already discussed this as well, that the land on which we are living, on which we survive, which, on which we grow food, on which we live, do all types of activities. This is another natural resource. Then comes the wind power and solar energy. Now, solar energy or the heat energy is another uh, type of, um, uh, you know, energy, which is or another type of uh, source, which is natural. And, um, you know, this power and this heat is then used for so many purposes. And last but not the least is the natural gas is another big resource that we have, all the humans have. And then this is another natural resource that we cannot produce on our own. So these were the natural resources. Now what you are supposed to do, what is your class activity? You are supposed to make a list of all the natural resources that we have discussed so far in the video as well and over there uh, through the picture as well, make a list, give the heading natural resources, make a definition for it on your own according to your own understanding and then write the names of all the natural resources hurry up yes all of you are done okay great so that was all for today hope you guys enjoyed the lecture do share this video with others because it's free learning i'll be seeing you tomorrow take care laugh it.